You know what? I, I, I think it went uh, really well if we were actually dealing with logic and reason uh, the way business is conducted. But unfortunately, the attorney general has brought forth a case that is purely a political persecution. Uh, the banks in question made hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, think about this, right? They are not claiming that they are victims. They are not saying that they were misled. They are saying that they did their own due diligence. Uh, but that doesn't matter because I guess in the uh, attempt to get Trump, the attorney general can go at and try to, I guess, make more millions for the biggest banking institutions in the world who have already made millions. I mean, I think it's a truly scary precedent for New York. Uh, for me, for example, before even having a day in court, I'm apparently guilty uh, of fraud for relying on my accountant to do, wait for it, accounting. I mean, think about that. What, what does that do for literally any other business? You pay experts millions of dollars to be experts. You sign off on what they give you and you're liable. And by the way, again, the same supposed victims, because it's a totally victimless thing, are saying, no, we did our own due diligence. We made hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, if this was to become precedent where you could have an overzealous attorney general go after any business in New York, uh, this city would be in even worse shape than it already is today uh, because everyone would be driven elsewhere. So uh, it's a sad uh, it's a sad thing. But, you know, I guess we're going to see and have to play it out accordingly. Well, I, I think, you know, I, I can look at the crime stats in New York and think there's probably other people they could focus on. You know, a, a, again, I think uh, I think that generally speaking uh, right now in the United States and we don't have to get too political. And I understand that I imagine, according to most of you guys, I am not the upstanding individual that Hunter Biden is. But, you know, it seems like I've done an undue testimony 50 hours before Congress. All of it ends up being nonsense. We. Uh, we got to believe the Russia hoax for five years. Turns out that was all a lie. Turns out members of Congress can edit my emails and change them for a narrative. And, you know, when that's discovered, oh, we'll just move on to the next subject. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs. We don't have an equal uh, system of justice uh, in America these days. And I think we're seeing that play out. The good thing is it's so egregious. It's so ridiculous uh, that I think actual, you know, hardworking Americans trying to live their American dream are starting to realize it now. Uh, they're starting to realize that they're second-class citizens in their own country, and I think they'll act accordingly in the future. So, really appreciate it, guys. I don't know. Uh, you know, honestly, like, I, I don't feel I need to be a part of, you know, the continued circus. It's going to keep going, and, you know, this is not my first rodeo at this point. And I guess there's a good saying about bread and circuses going back to the Roman times, uh, and I feel like we're living a little bit of that right now. So, appreciate it, guys. You have a great day.